Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the brand new plastic tank for Warhammer the Horus Heresy, the Typhon Heavy Siege Tank from Games Workshop. Now it's in this package right here, it will cost you £70, it's a lot of money for a tank. It's not the most expensive plastic tank we have for Horus Heresy. For Legiones Astartes, that is still the Kratos Heavy Assault Tank. This Typhon consists of 221 plastic components, whereas the Kratos uh, just pips it to the post with 233. So you're getting slightly more uh, components, you know, 12 extra components uh, with the Kratos as opposed to this um, Typhon. It's the same price as a Spartan. It will have the same kind of sprues as the Spartan has in it. I will predict right now that the Cerberus Heavy Tank Destroyer um, that has the same chassis as this will also be £70. Maybe we'll get that in the next couple of uh, weeks along with the Sakaar and Venator. So without further ado, let's unbox this. I already own a uh, Typhon in resin from Forge World. It's a fantastic kit. If you just type that in into YouTube, you'll probably see my review from about five or six years ago. And of course I will be doing a comparison uh, with this plastic one and the resin. It's not wrapped in um, cellophane. I'm not sure whether that was intentional or not. Um, Maybe this is a new thing that they're doing, but there is kind of tape around these um, flaps. Okay, that's interesting. So here we are, the, the Typhon Heavy Siege Tank. Um, as I say, I do already have one in resin. This is uh, another one um, for the Dark Angels. I will be picking up a third one, uh, so a second plastic one for Death Guard, but that's a long way into the future. So this is what it will look like. Um, I'm still undecided uh, what, what kind of sponsored weapon to go for. I might go for the Volkite, I might go for the Heavy Bolters, but I'm certainly not going for the um, Las Cannons uh, or Heavy Flamers. Um, but there you go, there are your options. You're getting your, your four sponsor and weapons. You're getting the vehicle accessory sprue. And I think we've got a brand new sprue just for this cannon. When it was first announced, uh, I thought, yes, they're definitely gonna do a Cerberus now. And I did wonder whether they're gonna make a dual kit, but why make a dual kit when you can sell, you know, two different products, it just, just makes sense. Everybody that's been holding off um, from picking up a Typhon tank, uh, you know, in resin for whatever reason. I mean, I think the resin one uh, cost me um, £109. So you're saving almost £40, but it's gonna take you four or five times the amount of time to actually build it. So it depends, you know, if you've got that, that time to kind of spare um, or you'd rather spend it, you know, building other miniatures or painting other miniatures. Um, so, here we go. Uh, this looks like a brand new kind of top for the tank. It just says Land Raider there. Hmm. I wonder whether we'll get this on the Achilles or something. But uh, yeah, you've got this um, kind of armor that goes around the cannon. And then this is the other sprue. So two new sprues. Um, I think we may be getting this in the Cerberus and then this will just change in the Cerberus as well um, you know the, the different top and obviously the cannon and things that's pretty cool that that's in one piece brilliant that, you know I'm so happy that that is in one piece and not um, you know split down the middle because you'd see that join uh, this is split though but that's fine it looks like it's got some plugs it does say Games Workshop 2023 and it says Typhon H and this just says Land Raider. Hmm, okay, cool. And then we've seen all of these sprues before, I think. So this is your Predator, Kratos, Sikaran, Weapon Sponson sprue. Uh, this is your amazing vehicle accessory sprue. With so many different weapons and things, they, they couldn't improve this, I don't think. Uh, then you've got the 
um, Land Raider chassis itself, you know, the side panel armor, the exhausts, some of the tracks there. The other sides of the Spartan, uh, along with the, uh, some doors and the Aquila and the Eye of Horror symbol, uh, as well as some arms um, for the tank commander, I'd want to say. And then you've got the track sprue. Um, so, yeah, lots of mold lines as usual, of course. And you've got the uh, top weapons as well which I don't think you'll be using uh, for this. I don't think it gives you the option. And then you've got uh, vehicle transfer sheet as well. And you've got the instruction guide. So let's just whiz through this. Um, that's quite straightforward, typical Land Raider um, build. Again, that's all typical Land Raider build. This is all new though. So it's got a new f top and front mounted area with some new pieces and then that's quite straightforward at the back with the exhausts and then this is new as well so the actual dread hammer siege cannon um typhons used to be really really good i think if they didn't move they could fire 48 inches and the cannon was i think ap minus three or ap3 back then uh and it ignored cover saves so you could be firing this at bunkers and it would just instantly kill. I think it could fire twice if it didn't move at 24 inch or once uh, if it didn't move at 48 inch um, but if it did move it could only fire one uh, at 24. So the rules were better for it at one point um, but now it's just a straight up 24 inch. That's the side uh, sponsons as well they're quite straightforward and then the uh, vehicle accessory sprue. I like the attention to detail in that, in that, you know, even though this is the same as you would get for the other Spartans, they've redone the instructions, I guess, to cater it for the Typhon, because there's the um, cannon as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and there you go. So you've got some options there. Yeah, they put heavy bolters on. This one, they put last cannons and then a multi-melter. Okay. Quite a pricey tank, but then again, it is a Lord of War, so you can't have one of these and a Primark or a Thunderhawk or anything like that. You, you kind of have to have this or the Cerberus um, as your Lord of War choice, so just bear that in mind, um, you know, when you're thinking about picking one of these up and just, you know, trying to use it as a, a Kratos or a Spartan or something like that. There you go. That's my unboxing of the Legiones Astartes Typhon Heavy Siege Tank for Warhammer the Horus Heresy. Uh, I will be building this in the live stream later on today. So as always, um, you're more than welcome to tune in. So I hope you join us all for that, uh, where I'll, I'll make a start with this tank. What do you guys think of the Typhon? Have you picked one up yourself or are you holding out and more excited for the upcoming Cerberus tank? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.